Hello and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 tutorial where we're going to talk about the auto motion templates in Crazy Talk 7 and how to adjust them. So the first thing we need to do is choose one of the actors from the content manager or I can create my own if I'd like to. I will go to the actor tab, model and double click on one. Now I have to choose uh, an audio file. I have to add an audio file. So I will go to the voice script and practice audio and I will choose attorney advice. So immediately I get prompted by three options. I can choose to create a lip sync, a listen mode which will only generate a, a, an animation for the head but no lip sync, or a talk mode which will generate both a head movement plus that lip sync. So let me try listen mode. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. Okay. So as you can see, there was no lip sync in there. Let's try this again, and I will choose talk mode. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. Great. Okay. So we're good with that part. Now, now that we have our audio inside, then we can go to the auto motion tab. And inside we have three options, functional, scenario, and idle. So I will go to functional. And immediately you will see that we have all these templates inside. And I want you to focus on the icons for each file. These icons will help you identify the type of movement. So for example, if I want my actor to pop uh, forward, so I can click on this. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. Okay, I can go back. And let's say we can choose this one now, back face down, and we can imagine what the animation will look like. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. Okay, so auto motions are animations that are generated from the initial audio file. Okay, uh, another thing is I want you to look at these icons and you see that here in this icon we have a little head with shoulders. This means that this particular uh, template will animate both the head and the body of the character. Then the last one we chose, you can see that there's a little face icon. This means that this particular auto motion will only animate the face, but not the body. Then we can also see that some of these icons have a shuffle um, image there. This means that this auto motion is uh, randomly generated, and we also see that others have a little spring there. These mean that this means that this particular auto motion has a lot of spring effect inside. Okay, so. If you would like to customize one of these auto motions, you can. Let me open the timeline here. Um, I will expand this. Okay. So we have our audio track inside. If we go down to the auto motion, we see that we have back face down auto motion because that's the last one that we chose, right? If we would like to customize this auto motion, we can do this. Simply go to the toolbar and by default, you will see that Crazy Talk 7 uses this sample actor with the sample audio, and we can listen to this. Whisper. Shh. I am whispering to test the low sounds. Talk. I talk so you may notice the sound volume. Shout. Shouting brings out exaggerated movements. Okay, so I can choose to use this sample actor in audio, or I can choose to use my own. And how do I do this? Simply go up here and click on load current actor and audio. Now I will be able to use my own audio and my own actor. But I have to mention, we will not see any lip syncing in here. This is because we want you to focus on the animation alone because the settings are only for the animation. So let's see, the first thing I would like to do uh, is to show you that you can increase the strength the threshold, the smoothness, and the spring effect. So the, the, when, when I first start um, customizing the auto motions, I first adjust the threshold, okay? The threshold are these two blue limits on top and below. So for example, anything, any audio segment that is above that upper blue limit, uh, any, any audio uh, outside of that limit will generate an animation. Also, the same for the bottom part. So any audio segment that is under that lower blue limit will trigger an animation. So I can adjust this. For example, if I want, if I only want these peaks to generate an animation, then I could place the limit to those peaks. So let's preview. As your attorney, 
I advise you drive at top speed. It'll be a miracle if we can get there before. Okay. Then I can choose to increase the spring effect if I want a more bouncy feeling. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. Or I can choose to lower that spring effect and increase the smoothness so when the actor pops up, he won't pop up so violently. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. Okay, there we go. So for now, I will close the Auto Motion setting and we will go back to the Auto Motion tab. So let me backtrack here. And now I will go into Scenario. Now with Scenario, I have four options. I have Talk, Sing, Human Sound, and Reaction. With Talk, you will find a wide variety of different talk uh, animations. This is because we never talk the same way. There are al always different ways to talk and we try to put this into the animation tabs so that you can use all these templates and you can choose the correct talking motion for your specific scenario. And this makes animation a lot more fun. So here, let me choose Gossip. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. Okay, now I can choose another one. I can choose shouting. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. It'll be a miracle if we can get there before you turn into an avatar. Okay, and as you can see at the bottom in the auto motion track, we have the shouting auto motion inside. So let's go back out, and now I will go into the sing folder. Uh, the sing folder is basically uh, templates for uh, singing scenarios. So for example, if I, I can choose this hip hop motion. As your attorney, I advise you drive at top speed. But obviously it doesn't look like it matches that audio file. So it's always best to choose the appro an appropriate audio file for that motion template. So let me go back to the voice script and I think we have a rap inside. Yes we do and we'll choose lip sync. It doesn't really matter because we will generate the auto motion later on. Yeah, yeah, yo turn my mic up. Oh. Okay, let me go back to auto motion and choose the hip hop audio motion template. Yeah, yeah, yo turn my mic up. Oh. Yeah, just like that. Hey yo, check it. Yo, I'm rhyming off the top of the head. So I gotta get these words right or I won't get fed, you see? <laughs> He won't get fed, he says. So I will go back out now and I will go into the human sound folder. Now here I can choose any particular human sound. I can choose uh, cold, coughing, eating or laughing. But again, we need to make sure that we're using the appropriate um, audio script. So I want to choose a coughing uh, auto motion. So let me go back to voice script and I will choose a coughing audio. Here we go lip sync. <coughs> okay, stop. And I will choose the coughing template. <coughs> yeah. Okay, great. Let me go back out. And the last one is reaction. So reaction is basically the same as the listen mode. Remember when we chose an audio script, and we had the three options, lip sync, listen mode, and talk mode. So for example, I can choose this scared template and this will animate my actor as if he's listening to someone coughing across the room and he is scared. So let's try this. <coughs> okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna go back out and the last one is idle motions, okay? Idle motions are basically uh, pre-animated motion clips that do not react to any audio, okay? So, for example, if I want to create an animation from scratch, I would use an idle motion to set it as a bass track in my auto motion uh, area, and then I will create the lip syncs on top of that. So let's go to voice script and I will choose, let's see, a tired lullaby. And I will choose lip sync only. Okay. Baby, in the 
So let me go back to the auto motion. And inside the idle folder, I will choose exhausted. Okay, and there we go. And that's how easy it is to choose your own auto motions in Crazy Talk 7.